Supporting San Diego, sponsored by your San Diego County Toyota dealers. Losing a loved one is never easy, but having support and a thoughtful memento could possibly help. Alex Silva with Vitus Healthcare of San Diego is here to share more about a very special bear. Good morning and thank you for being here. Good morning, thank you for having me. Very special story. Who are you holding right Absolutely. now? Absolutely. I'm holding my grandma, Sarah. <laughs> Literally or? <laughs> this was actually um, a robe that she wore before she passed away. Oh. And our memory bears are made from the garments uh, that belong to our loved ones. So what most reminds us of them, we can turn those into a teddy bear to help the grief. And we say when they're missing them, they can give them a bear hug. Oh, that's so sweet. So, so sweet. Where did the idea come up to do this? Why even start this? Yeah, we had a regional meeting with all the volunteer managers and one of them had started the program and I just thought it was a phenomenal way to be able to partner with the bereavement department to offer support for um, our patient families who were suffering the grief from the loss. And so uh, I came home and came into work Monday morning and this woman named Tycho came in and said, I know how to sew, what can I sew for you? And that's how it began. It's one of those things, Alex, that all of us have in common, no matter where you are on, on this planet, we're gonna lose people that Absolutely. you love. Uh, the support that comes afterwards may be not be available to so many people and it's incredibly painful. Absolutely. We, uh, do what we can to offer grief support throughout. But like you said, if somebody can't attend or maybe they're just not at a place where they can, this can be a really great way for them to have some grief support at home. Can you tell us how this process works? Like how, if somebody's watching right now and this is something they're like, oh, I would love to do this. Does yeah. it have to be like a, a clothing, a blank? How does it work? Um, so if they're interested, they get in touch with me. Okay. Uh, we talk a little bit about what they kind of have in mind, what garments they would like to use. Make so sure. So a cloth? Exactly. Okay. Okay. So somebody's favorite blouse, a shirt, a robe, a blanket. We've done uh, military fatigues. We've done wedding dresses. Um, and so they bring that into the office. We okay. fill out an order form and go from there. How much does it cost to do something like this? There is no cost to the bears. Wow. Yeah, um, it is part of our volunteer department and bereavement department. So when the bears are delivered, we provide a brochure for our nonprofit organization and they can make a donation if they're moved to do so. Are they all bears? Like that's what you're gonna get that size? They look like that? Do they come in different? These are the, the general sizes, probably about 20, 22 inches when you extend the leg. Um, we do also offer pillows, so if maybe somebody isn't into a bear per se, then we can use um, a shirt and make a pillow for them. I love this. Uh, how long does it take to make one of those? Each bear takes about five hours per the volunteers. Oh, yeah. So uh, they are able to do them at home. We give them about eight weeks to complete the order, and I love to see all the little personal touches that everybody has for their own bear. What a special idea. Um, you have an event happening this Saturday. Tell us a little bit about uh, that. We do. It is our 15th Memory Bear Reunion. It's a bereavement event that we hold every year, and only those that have received the bears are invited, as well as volunteers who sewed the bears, so it gives them an opportunity to meet. We show a video on how the bears are made, and then there's activities where they can come up and share memories of their loved one if they would like to. I love everything about this. It's just so special to be able <laughs> to provide this for, for people. Yeah, it's, it's amazing that the volunteers uh, give such great time and talent to be able to provide support uh, for somebody that they don't even know. We'll get the information out, but do you have to have special skills to be a volunteer if anybody's watching and want to do that? If somebody knows how to sew, usually okay. some experience is required. We okay. give them the pattern, all the supplies. They make a practice bear so that they can see what they think of the pattern and we can evaluate the bear. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Okay, we'll get the information up on our website. So if you're interested in either wanting to order one or maybe you know how to make them, VoxEyeSanDiego.com, click the little scene on tab. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. All right, we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back.